Hi guys, it's Lelena Bogo here of Shine Out Loud Show, and it's our podcast Friday, so yes, and hey. So to all my friends who were celebrating Easter, happy Easter to you and yours. So today we are going to jump right into it, and we're talking about the question I get most of all. Should I record live, or should I pre-record and put it out there? Now, imagine it's a two camp type battle there are people on one side say yes live is the best way to go and then the people who are pre-recorders go yes pre-record because you do this and do that and let's try and clear it up so in in the interest of honesty i will tell you i've always recorded live i prefer doing live as to pre-recording because then there's all this editing word and for those who don't know that's when you take the sound, you cut it out, you do things to it to make it more professional and sound better. And you can then take out the ums, the ahs, the oh, um. Or in our case, that went the last time I did a pre-recording and we had somebody drop in with muffins. It happens. The thing about this is that pre-recording has its place and live has its place. So let me go, let me roll back a couple of seconds. So as I was saying, I prefer to go live, but I have instances of pre-recording and editing. Now, for some people who are just starting out, the idea of being live fills them with dread. They're nervous, they're, oh my God, people can hear me and stuff like that. And for those, for some, the idea of pre-recording and having to edit is such a fact. Because then you have to get into the editing and all of that good stuff. And if you are prone to perfectionism, I'm prone to it. I know a lot of people who are. You go, oh, yeah, but it doesn't quite sound so good. Let me add this. Let me take this out. And before you know it, it is 2025 and you still haven't brought out your first episode. Because we all want to do our very best. And so we get stuck in that loop of, okay, I must make it better. And sometimes when you pre when you go live, you don't have that option. Whatever what happens happens. That's the beauty of life. So with pre-recording, how do you do it? So most people will pre-record on Audacity, GarageBand. If you're a Mac user, there are other tools out there, but I'll talk about the tool I know, which is Audacity. Pre-record into Audacity directly. And the great thing about Audacity is a free tool. God knows how these people decide to make this tool free. I am not questioning the gift to mankind. I accept their gift. Um, the idea is that in Audacity directly, you can do your editing. And it's a great tool for those who know how to do some great and wonderful things with it. I do a couple of things and I get away with it. That's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Can I edit? Yes. Can I you know, cut sound and do all sorts of magic with it? Yes. If what I'm speaking to you sounds like I'm talking out of Hogwarts, then pre-recording may not be for you or editing may not be for you. So you can pre-record and then find someone and go here, you make it better. I want no part of this nonsense. That's the, that's the beauty of it. But note that comes at an expense. So, and this is where you have to now ask yourself, do I want to invest in somebody to do my editing do I want to invest in someone who's going to do all that stuff and then return to me a usable product that I can put out if the answer is yes go ahead if the answer is no and you say I want to do it myself I have the technical skill or you're willing that's the thing you're willing to get those skills to do it yourself then do but note in between your the time that you're going to use a skill up that's time away from creating the content that you want to create. So for me, I've done the pre-recording. I tried pre-recording a couple of times for different reasons and edited it myself and I can do it, but it takes me a longer time. It's not my zone of genius. I'm not a sound engineer. I'm not someone who loves sitting down and going, I'm going to take a set, you know, my audio apart bit by bit by bit. That's just too long. It's too long for me. So. I record live. I get my guests to join me. We have a conversation. Whatever comes out, whatever happens in terms of what they say, what I say, we go on that journey together and boom, we have a podcast at the end of it. Does it always go right? Oh, no, no, it doesn't. I remember that we had such technical crisis. I think this was in the our third show when we started, third 
we had a guest from the United States calling in and the technical demons, because these were not gremlins, these were demons, decided to go, I'm going to hold my beer. Let me show you what can go wrong. And I did everything I could to fix it, knowing what I know. And, and it sounded like he was speaking from the bottom of a well with extra layers of sounds. It was disturbing and scary. And at the end of it, I sat in the corner and cried. I cried my eyes out. I won't even lie to you. I cried like a baby is crying for their mother cry because I just couldn't fix it. And I didn't know how. And I had this amazing guest um, on hold and I just couldn't make it work. I didn't die. I didn't. I was embarrassed in all sorts, but I didn't die. And in the end of the day, you know, he was in the country and we managed to do a quick catch up show, which was fantastic and great. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so technical things can happen. It can go a bit wonky. It can go a bit wrong. But the good thing is you get it, you're done. Boom. It's out the door. You don't have time to activate the perfectionism that goes up and go, oh, let me edit this or let me do this and let me do... No, it's out there. People can hear it. Unless you want to take it off and then, you know, but people have heard it. So for me, I do, I go live because it's easier. It's an easier um, stretch for me. Now there's a third way, which is basically pre-recorded, but you pre-record for live. This is another way because now you're pre-recording, but what you're doing, you're not pre-recording, oh, we can edit this later. No, 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 no. You're going for, think BBC, you're going for one take. Let's do this. Let's sit down and record. Let's have this conversation like we're going live. And then you turn it on and you guys have this magical conversation and then you can upload it later. That's another way if, you know, you can't get yourself together in terms of time-wise to go live and you don't want the faff of, I'm going to pre-record and cut out and edit and do all sorts of fandangled magic. We're going to do a take like it's live. So you pre-record for live. And that way you get away from having to do the editing. You don't have the stress of, oh, it's live and things have gone wrong and all of a sudden the world knows that tech demons hate you. You don't have to worry about any of that. And you're done. So I will say for what, whatever version of this you want to do, pick one that is within your comfort zone. If you're going to say, hey, you know what, I would pre-record hand it over to someone for them to create something else out of it and hand it back to me and go, yay, thank you. Great. If you want to do like me um, and say, I'm going to go live. I would have somebody call in. We'll have a live conversation. People can listen, can join in. Do that. Because that's, that's, that's really for me was the easiest option. But if you want a third way, where it's a mix of both, you record for live. So you pre-record for live where it's one take and you're done. So guys, I want to thank you for listening in. If you have any questions, drop it in the you know chat comments. Let me know. If you want to see something in particular or you want to find out something in particular about podcasting that kind of scratching your ear like that all the time and you're like, I'm not sure how to get this done, ask me. And if I know, I'll share. And if I don't, I can actually get someone involved in this and now we can have them share their knowledge as well because we need you podcasting. We need more diverse voices, more diverse people telling your own powerful story. If you want to find out what I do with my podcast, join me on the Shine Out Loud show, listen to my guests, comment, join in. And if you want to be a guest, DM me, reach out to me, let me know that you want to be featured on the Shine Out Loud show. I'll love to have you. So this is me saying adios, farewell, and we'll talk again soon. You see me next week. Bye.